Uh, I am Captain Priscilla Ledesma. I am a Logistics Readiness Officer currently serving as the Operations Flight Commander here at the detachment. So as a Logistics Readiness Officer, I have served as the Installation Deployment Officer, the Fuels Flight Commander, deployed doing Army Logistics, and then I was the Mission Support Group Executive Officer. When I came here to ROTC, I served as the Education Officer, the Recruiting Officer, and obviously back in Operations Flight Commander. A fair part of logistics would be two big things. The number of enlisted AFSCs, it's very broad, a lot of diversity amongst just the career fields themselves. And then I love the sheer number of personnel that exists within the squadron. To put it shortly, I joined the Air Force because I think serving in any branch is one of the most honorable things that you can do. So I became an ROTC instructor because I commissioned through ROTC myself and knew that I wanted to do it back in the day. And having been active duty, there's definitely some items that I wish I could have refined as a cadet. And so I wanted to bring that knowledge that I received active duty forward to the cadets currently. For any officer looking to be an instructor, I would recommend one, that they know the timeline for that application, as well as talk to people who have been in the position before to get those everyday daily tips. To become an AFROTC instructor as an officer, the OIRSD board is several months prior to the standard BML. Commander may or may not reach out to you requesting an interview, and that's the short process of it. Apply for the board. What I have loved about ROTC instructing is literally the cadets. It's seeing their intellect, it's building the report with them, it's the everyday life that you get to have with the younger generation. It's hard to pick one particular favorite memory because I think I can think of one from each year or working for the enterprise or working at field training. But if I would boil it down, my favorite memory was literally being in the classroom with the cadets. Coming back to ASU specifically as a cadre member, at first a little nostalgic, right? And then following that, it's become funny, you know, because cadets will find photos of me in the detachment and they'll show me them. But it's cool because it, it just came back full circle. My next assignment is Herbert Field, Florida. Specifically, I will be the logistics flight commander within the Red Horse Squadron there. So this position has definitely developed my administrative skills as well as really disciplined me to task prioritization. So I've definitely grown in this position by getting to work with the new generation and seeing their perspective, seeing their thoughts, and we get to utilize our own knowledge and our own experience to further develop these future officers. I would come back as a detachment commander. So I feel really good about my time here in ROTC and I want to continue that in my logistics career. So my advice for any officer looking to do this position would be to recognize that for a lot of the cadets, we are the face of the Air Force and it's our job to tell the Air Force story to the next generation and to really inspire our country's future leaders. I am Captain Ledesma and I am a flying devil.